Welcome to our first session of our second workshop. This time, we'll be talking about conditional indirect effects. And the specific top of this session is mediated moderation. Uh, up to now, we talked about mediation, uh, parallel mediation, serial mediation, and moderation. This time, we'll put all these concepts together and talk about conditional indirect effects. Uh, the agenda for today is a, a quick review of m mediation and moderation. Then uh, we'll explain why do we need conditional indirect effects. Why do we need to combine these things uh, to run one overall model instead of doing piecemeal analysis? Uh, and then we'll talk about mediated moderation and uh, explain what are these models. Finally, we will go through the theorizing about mediated moderation models. Um, so, again, this quick review about mediation. Uh, in our prior workshop, we went in depth about what mediation models are. So if you want to go through that, uh, uh, that workshop, feel free to watch them. And there are five different sessions that you can uh, go back and uh, gain more knowledge on specific topics about mediation and moderation. At this point, I want to highlight that mediation, when we are running mediation models, we focus on the process, on the mechanism through which our independent variable influences our dependent variable. We look, uh, to we look for answers of how does the independent variable affect our dependent variable. Uh, and then we have uh, serial mediation models, and we also have parallel mediation models. Uh, with moderation, we are looking at um, variables that change the strength or the direction of the causal relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable. If you remember, we are talking about job meaningfulness and job performance. Okay. In this case, we are looking at the circumstances in which the independent variable job meaningfulness influences job performance. In this case, particularly, we are talking about uh, the when or the effects of job meaningfulness on job performance as a function of organization identification. OK, so why do we need conditional indirect effects? Uh, so many studies, especially studies before 2012 or before 2010, they uh, conducted mediation and moderation models in different analyses. So that was done in a separate fashion. Okay. For example, we have Chen, Airy, uh, 2007, Lu, Lu, Cohen, and Mao, 2009. But the problem here is that if we do at uh, a, this piecemeal approach, we are not able to clearly understand uh, the underlying mechanisms and contingency factors, how they jointly influence all these uh, problem, organizational problems in general. So one approach that some people did in the past was to split the sample uh, based on high levels of the moder moderator or low levels of the moderator. And one problem that we organizational scholars may have is sample size. We may not have a big enough sample to split the sample in two uh, different uh, mine or small samples, I would say. Um, but on top of that, if we do this uh, PCME or splitting the samples approach, uh, we may not understand the whole uh, effect uh, on organizational phenomenon. So we do need to take into consideration mediation and moderation together if we wanted to get a more robust, a more a precise, accurate estimates for the relationships between dependent variables and the dependent variables. So you probably have heard this language, okay, mediated moderation or moderated mediation. Actually, we have both, and we'll be talking about both during these uh, sessions. Okay? The first one that will be discussed today is mediated moderation. Okay? Mediated moderation. So what is mediated moderation? 
So when we think about mediated moderation models, we are thinking about the moderating effects of our moderator, our W. How is that transmitted through our mediator? So we have a moderation model, and then we look at the mechanism that transmits, that explains how our interaction influences our dependent variable. Uh, one paper that I've been working on for quite some time looks at the relationship, relationship between manager and subordinate gender match and its effects on managerial response to voice. We argue that that effect is moderated by social comparison orientation of the manager. And then we theorize that this interaction influences managerial response, responses to voice via gratitude. Okay? So the difference, the main difference between uh, mediated moderation models and moderated mediation models is your theory and how you build your model, how you build your theoretical rationale uh, that leads to your test. So how do we theorize uh, mediated moderation models? The first step is to conduct a moderation model um, in which we look at the relationship between uh, the independent variable and the dependent variable and how that changes based on levels of the moderator. If you recall, this is exactly the same test that we did when conducting moderation models. But then you have the second step. And in the second step, you needed to uh, conduct a moderation model, but your dependent variable now is your mediator. Okay? So you are looking at the interaction term, the effects of the interaction term on the mediator. And finally, you theorized about the whole model. So now you have these effects of the interaction term um, of the independent variable and your moderator influencing your dependent variable via a mediator. So that's how you theorize. There are three steps. First, the interaction of the independent variable and the moderator on the dependent variable. The second step is uh, the uh, theorizing about the relationship between your independent variable and the moderator on your mediator. And finally, you theorize about the whole model. In this session, we talked about, we gave you a quick review of mediation, moderation. We explained why uh, conditional, indirect model, conditional indirect effects models are important. And then we explained how to theorize about uh, mediated moderation models. Thank you.